Hi everyone. So today, I'm gonna unbox a computer. So, this is an Acer brand. I'm gonna check out. We're gonna check out. This is good for beginner. So, kung kakasimula mo pa lang, mag-study ng computer or para sa teenager, ito ang mga bagay kasi they are learning on it. And this is on budget. So, if you're on budget and you badly needed computer for your studies, ito ang kaya, kaya kong afford. So, first, this is the box. There you go. There you go. This is how it looks like. This is the box. So, I can see there's Oh, very strong. Right there. Oh my goodness, very sealed. Now, which way to open? Oh, look. There you go. This is the opening area. So this is the opening. Oh my goodness, how secure. But before that, we need to check on what's on the description, the receipt. What comes in the box? So let's lay this on here. Oh, leave it there. No, lay, lay it to make sure it doesn't drop. There's the charger. And there's the name Acer. So if you are on budget and you badly needed the computer, that's why I got that on this one that is all under this little piece of cardboard oh. Acer save your box and your airbag and give this planet a break oh yeah I know right your packaging air can be last up to one year without deflating okay so this is the airbag and welcome to acer for any questions regarding your purchase acercertified.com and email online or email or you can give them a call monday to friday and everything this is if you have question with the items that comes with the box and of course scan for for scan for support in case you need to bring this or you can visit to the website if there's a questions regarding on this computer that i just opened so this comes with a box just leave it there because that's very important and there's just a charger so have what is written nothing serial number and I won't remove it yet since we are not yet sure if we're gonna keep the computer or we're gonna return so that's the power I have the power I the charger goes here let me see oh that's not it so we're gonna open it okay this is how it looks like the front the front and the back so there you go there you go we're gonna open it Oh, 
Okay, when you open, it goes like that. It's a, it's DMI. I'm not sure what does that mean. So it's already US 5.49 in the morning. There you go. Let's go. That's how it works when you open the computer. Now we're gonna find the charger where we're gonna insert it because there's so many there's a mini thing here. So let's find for the charger. Hmm. This one, there's an icon. This is for the, what is this headset? Or air, oh, headset, yes. So I assume, is this a charger? How would I know that it's charging? Let me see. It's, Oh, it fits, yeah. Oh, I see. It is charging because you, you can see the screen lit up. See right there. Let me see. What is this for? I'm sure there's a purpose to this. There's another thing there. This is, what is this for? The memory or more connector? Okay. I can tell it's charging because the battery is showing here. There's a charging icon. So, there you go. Google Chrome OS terms. So there's the terms. By using this device, you agree to bound the following terms. So all the Google terms. and. There you go so you just hit accept and continue so after you open you just connect to the wi-fi that you have at home and you just hit the continue thing continue button determining device configuration so there you go it's there you go there's it needs more option if you are not a Google user, if you doesn't have a Gmail, it will make you create. So you just in, enter your email. Or you can hit back what is in the back. Yes, Google Chrome. When you use this computer or you can sign in as guest let me see if what is no when you sign into google oh there you go you're browsing as a guest so if you doesn't have gmail to sign in so of course and let's do youtube youtube.com there you go if you doesn't have gmail account you just sign in as guest and it will work that way and you can start browsing but what is good in gmail in google account is there's a lot of stuff in there if you are logged in there's a drive google drive and everything you can save your files or assignment from the school